much in the previous lecture uh, we have ended with coefficient of variation a coefficient of variation is larger so coefficient of variation of a is greater than coefficient of variation of b then b is more consistent b is more consistent a shows more variability shows greater variability so this thing we have seen in the previous lecture and in today's lecture we need to start with the new topic that that is moment so what do we mean by moment is uh, like in the previous one we have just seen one thing that is a standard deviation a very important thing about standard deviation was it was calculating the central tendency of your data uh not measure of dispersion sorry not the central tendency it was a measure of dispersion and how do we say that it is a measure of dif- dispersion is if you look at the formula x minus x bar square upon summation f so from this you will see that what you are actually calculating is the distance of each and every point from its mean say what you are taking x minus x bar square it means that you are looking at the distance of your data from the mean okay and moments two does the same thing uh, just now it is not just square so what i am going to do is i'll give you give it an arbitrary power so r moment about the mean so first of all we will simply write down the definition uh in statistics i will again tell you i have even said it in previous lectures that in statistics you have to make a list of formulas and whatever example you get from that list you can use the formula and you can get the answer so in the moment the first definition the arth moment about mean of a distribution of a distribution is denoted by is denoted by new suffix r and is given by and is given by new r is equal to over and upon n summation f into x minus x bar square now x minus x bar raised to r so rth moment about mean uh, look this is very important so you have, what you are calculating you are calculating rth moment about mean uh, how it is denoted by it is denoted by mu suffix r and what is the formula 1 upon n summation f x minus x bar raised to r okay so r th moment hai to power kya honi chahiye r first observation agar mean hai then it is denoted by mu r why i am repeating this again and again because we are going to learn mu r dash also so what we mean by mu r dash that you will have to recognize and use the notations very much properly so what is mu 1 mu 1 is equal to 
anyone so one upon n n means summation f summation so power r is x minus x bar raised to one right so i can separate this summation fx minus x bar summation f and i can separate the denominator to summation f and summation f so this two get cancelled out summation fx upon summation f is x bar minus x bar answer is zero so mu1 is always zero and even having doubt up to this uh look the questions are going to be like this find the first four moments directly so find the first four moments the moment you see this you should first thing you should come uh, that should come to your mind is mu1 is equal to 0 the first moment is equal to 0 second mu2 is equal to summation f x minus x bar square upon summation f what is this anyone who can recognize this so no one is making a list of formulas sir variant variant is a vari variant very good so it is denoted by sigma square mask is called variance so the third one will be mu3 is equal to summation f into x minus x bar cube upon summation f and mu4 is equal to summation f into x minus x bar raised to 4 upon summation f so these are the first four moments uh, remember the formulas uh, accordingly we will have to make a columns and we have to do the calculation fine so once we are done with this so we will write down the formula for rth moment about a that was moment about mean i will take moment about a the previous one we have seen those are moments about mean those were moments about mean because what you are calculating you are calculating the distance of each and every entry from x bar it means that those are moments about mean and now i am taking moments about a the rth moment rth moment about any number a is denoted by denoted by mu r dash and is given by and is given by mu r dash is equal to summation f into x minus a raised to r upon summation f so accordingly i can get mu1 dash what will be mu1 dash summation f x minus a upon summation f so if you uh, okay don't simplify this so that i'll just write down the form mu2 dash mu2 dash is equal to summation f x minus a square 
upon summation f mu 3 dash is equal to summation f into x minus a cube upon summation f mu 4 dash is equal to summation f into x minus a raised to 4 upon summation f why does uh, this dash stand for pseudo i mean uh, i have some data say x and f i'll write down the entries say 1 2 3 4 and the frequencies are 6 8 2 9 okay i have x i have f okay and i am taking an arbitrary number say a is equal to 4 uh, say 2 2 simply okay and i can take x minus 2 f into x minus 2 f into x minus 2 square do i know that 2 is main no 2 is an arbitrary number so when i am doing this calculations with an arbitrary number a those are moments about a a is not a mean so those moments are denoted by mu r dash which is mu 1 dash mu 2 dash mu 3 dash mu 4 dash whereas if i find out a mean for this this data say if i have x bar is equal to uh, say 3.1 3.1 is the mean and i am finding out the column f into x minus 3.1 square then i will get mu 2 mu 3 because 3.1 is the mean whenever you have mean you will get mu 3 mu 2 mu 1 and so on if it is not a mean then what we are getting is mu 1 dash mu 2 dash mu 3 dash mu 4 dash okay so if you have any doubt in moments about mean and moments about an arbitrary number a please ask or else i will go ahead with example Sir, uh, there is only one dash, right? For uh, for an for yes. about uh, an arbitrary. Dash, yes. Yeah. Uh, this dash stands for stands for pseudo, uh, yes. because this a is False. a pseudo mean. I mean, it is not exactly a mean, but I'm assuming that suppose it is a mean, and I'm doing the calculation. That's why yes. this dash stands there because it is not true. It is fake mean. Got it. Fine. Yes. So, the third one we want to see is a relation between a relation between mu r and mu r dash. Uh, if you get a chance to give a uh, subject M3 paper offline, then this kind of question is always there. That mu r dash is given and you are supposed to find out mu r. So, first four moments are given mu 1 dash, mu 2 dash, mu 3 dash, mu 4 dash. And the question is to find out mu 1, mu 2, mu 3 and mu 4. And that is done using this formula mu 1 which is always 0 we know that okay before going to that i'll write down the generalized relation so mu r is given by mu r is equal to mu r dash minus r c 1 mu r minus 1 dash mu 1 dash plus r c 2 mu r minus 2 dash mu 1 dash square next term will be r c 3 mu 
आर माइनस थ्री डैश म्यू वन डैश क्यूब और सॉरी दिस हैज टू बी माइनस सो ऑन द लास्ट टर्म विल बी माइनस वन रेस टू आर म्यू वन डैश रेस टू आर सो दिस लुक्स लाइक एनी फॉर्मूला दैट यू हैव सीन do you recall any formula when you look at this no uh is kind of binomial theorem so in binomial theorem what you do is you have the coefficients r c1 r c2 and so on uh you are decreasing the power of the first variable increasing the power of the uh, not variable the first term and decreasing the power of first term increasing the power of second term in similar way you get this relation but uh, let's not try to remember this instead we will concentrate on what we need we need mu1 which is always zero mu2 by above formula what we will have mu2 dash minus 2c1 which is 2 mu1 dash into mu1 dash plus in the next one mu0 dash hoga but it is one mu1 dash square the final term and minus 1 raised to 2 so if you simplify this 2 mu1 dash square plus mu1 dash square so mu2 is equal to mu2 dash Minus mu one dash square. So if I am given the moments about assume the mean is mu two and mu one, then what I can do is I can find out the moment about mean mu three is equal to use the above formula mu three dash minus. 3c1 which is 3 mu2 dash mu1 dash plus 3c2 mu1 dash into mu1 dash square minus 3c3 This will be mu zero da zero dash, which is one, and mu one dash cube. So I can simplify this. Three c two is again three. So mu three dash minus three mu two dash into mu one dash. This will be three mu one dash cube minus mu one dash cube. It will be plus two mu one dash. is mu3 can someone do it for mu4 and give me the answer So mu four dash anyway, mu four dash minus four times mu three dash into mu one dash plus. Uh, how do you get six? So I will write it down here. Four c two, four c two is nothing but four factorial upon two factorial into four minus two factorial. So this is. Three into four divided by two. So the answer is six. So plus six times mu two dash mu one dash minus. Now I will have four c three. 
again you can do the calculation same kind of calculations and we'll get minus 4 mu 1 dash into mu 1 dash oh sorry this is square and this will become cube and the last term is plus mu 1 dash raised to 4 so i can simplify this and mu 4 i will get as mu 4 is equal to mu 4 dash minus 4 times mu 3 dash mu 1 dash plus 60 times mu 2 dash mu 1 dash square the last term will be minus 4 mu 1 dash raised to 4 plus that will be minus 3 mu 1 dash raised to Please write down the four things: mu one, mu two, mu three, mu four. Is anyone having problem in this? Please ask. Kirag, any problem? Shri Kumar, Janvi, Gaurav Davi. No sir. Uh, am I audible? Yes sir. Yes sir. Okay. Fine. So I consider there no there is no problem. You have added these four formulas in your list. Now I'll go ahead uh, with the last theory part of this. It is skewness and kurtosis. So I'll talk about skewness first of all. So I have frequency and the random variable. Plotted on a graph. Okay, so vertically it is frequency, and horizontally it is the variable. If so I will draw three types of graphs over here, you have to make a conclusion. Yes. So I've drawn three graphs. What conclusion you can make? Well, I mean, uh, can do you observe anything in uh, the difference, major difference in three of them? Sir, the peak for the first graph is towards the left, and for the central graph, it is at the center. 
and the what does right the peak signify the highest value of something means uh, here ha uh, so uh, from our 10th star uh, standard mathematics a highest value is called mean median or mode सर मोड मोड एग्जैक्टली तो जो हाईएस्ट वैल्यू होती है दैट इज मोड ओके सो आई विल टेक मोड व्हाट इज द मीन मीन इज द सेंट्रल वैल्यू इट डजंट कंसीडर द फ्रीक्वेंसी बट दिस इज द मीन एंड मीडियन हैज टू बी समवेयर बिटवीन दिस टू इन द सेकंड वन मीन मीडियन मोड ऑल थ्री ऑफ देम आर सेम okay the central value is exactly the highest value and also the most uh, with highest frequency okay and in the third one mode is completely on the left central will be on the most right and mean and median one more thing is कि हाईएस्ट वैल्यू कहाँ पे शिफ्ट हो रही है आई मीन्स द स्क्यूनेस सिग्निफाइज द डिपार्चर फ्रॉम सिमेट्री सो यू कैन सी दैट द सेकेंड वन इज द मोस्ट सिमेट्रिक कर्व आई मीन इट इज सिमेट्रिक इन बोथ द साइड वेर एज द फर्स्ट कर्व इज शिफ्टेड ऑन द लेफ्ट आई मीन द राइट हैंड साइड इज स्ट्रेच अ लॉट एंड द लास्ट ग्राफ इफ यू सी दैट इज stretched in the left hand side so this thing i mean the graph is stretched on the left or it is stretched on the right and this thing is called the skewness i mean this i will write down the definition skewness signifies departure from symmetry how do we calculate the skewness uh skew so we calculate the, uh, not exactly the skewness the coefficient of skewness okay so the first curve this is right skewed or which is said positively skewed so when do we say that a curve is positively skewed mean is on the right mode is at the left okay so if mean turns out on the right the curve is uh, stretched on the right hand side so we have done the first case yes the curve is stretched on right then curve is positively skewed okay the first remark so and the second one if the curve is straight on the left then curve is negatively skewed the coefficient of skewness coefficient of skewness
is denoted by denoted by beta 1 and is defined as mu 3 square mu 2 cube so beta 2 is equal to mu 3 square upon mu 2 cube another formula in your list beta 1 sorry beta 1 is equal to mu 3 square upon mu 2 cube so first one me kya hoga beta 1 will turn out to be greater than 0 and in the last one beta 1 will turn out to be less than 0 so positively skewed negatively skewed next one kurtosis Yes. What you are observing now? Sir, the slope uh, in the yes, first. Yes. yes. Mm, yeah. So, uh, first one. The... signifies the peakedness peakedness of the curve so in the first one you can see that there is a uh, peak there the second one not so much but the third one is almost plain there is no peak over there so the highest peak i mean if there is a big peak in your data then it is called the leptocurtic data so there are three types leptocurtic mesocurtic and the third one platycurtic So this is almost plain, platycurtic, uh, this is somewhere in the middle, not too much peak and not almost plain, so mesocurtic and platycurtic. So coefficient of kurtosis, coefficient of kurtosis denoted by denoted by beta 2 
and is defined as and is defined as beta 2 is equal to mu 4 upon mu 2 square. So, if beta 2 is less than 3, then split I cut it. This is A point. B. If beta 2 is equal to 3, then mesocortic. In the third one, if beta 2 is greater than 3, then leptocortic. So, if beta 2 turns out to be greater than 3, then you have a big peak in your data. If it is less than 3, then it is not having peak over there. So, that is all about the moment. I will just enlist and we will not go for examples today as there was a lot of hairy part. We will just enlist all the formulas. You take a screenshot of it and keep it with you for tomorrow's lecture. Mu 1, 0. Mu 2 is equal to summation F x minus x bar square summation F. Mu 3 summation F x minus x bar cube upon summation f and mu 4 summation f x minus x bar raised to 4 upon summation f in second one if mu 1 dash, mu 2 dash, mu 3 dash, mu 4 dash are moments about assumed mean A then mu 1 will be 0 mu 2 is equal to mu 2 dash minus mu 1 dash square mu 3 will be given by mu 3 dash minus 3 mu 2 dash into mu 1 dash plus 2 mu 1 dash cube mu 4 is given by mu 4 dash minus 4 mu 3 dash into mu 1 dash plus 6 mu 2 dash into mu 1 dash square minus 3 mu 1 dash raised to 4. Next one, beta 1, which talks about the kurtosis, it is given, given by mu 3 square upon mu 2 cube. If beta 1 greater than 0, positively skewed. If beta 1 less than 0, it is negatively skewed. And beta 2, 
is mu 4 upon mu 2 square. All the formulas are correct. This is positively skewed. This is negatively skewed. Positively skewed means the curve is shifted, uh, stretched on the right. Negatively skewed, the curve is stretched on the left. Beta 2 greater than 0. Leptogartic. Beta 2 less than Sorry, uh, beta 2 less than 3 let i equal 6 so this is all we have seen in today's lecture please take a screenshot of it in the next lecture we will solve examples on this any problem no Fine. I'll download the attendance and then we'll stop here. Okay, do one thing today in the chat box, give your roll number and name. Everyone put your name and roll number in the chat box. So some of us don't have roll number. Just put your name in that case. Uh, you are currently in this team.